Hello Virgo, welcome to your August 14 to the 26, 2017 general reading. If you would like to book a private reading with me, all that information is in the description below. Now, like I always mention in all my videos that these are general, they're not going to resonate with everybody. There's no way that, you know, just because the title says Virgo, that doesn't mean that all the Virgos out there in the world, this is a video for you, okay? Take whatever resonates, leave whatever doesn't, okay? So whether if it's just one card, one message, then take that, okay? You don't have to force yourself to like, well, that's not it. She's totally wrong. She doesn't know what she's talking about. You know, not everybody go, goes through the same things in their in their lives just because they're the same zodiac sign. Okay. All right. Spirit What messages? From now to the 26th, the overall energy, we have the star card, okay? Hoping for a better day. Alright, so in the past, we have the four of pentacles, okay? Some of you guys are definitely holding on or held on to something or keeping something from somebody being secretive, you know? The seven of pentacles, we have two pentacles, strong... Uh, earth sign here, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, of course yourselves, or another Virgo that you were involved with, but um, money as well, some of you are definitely holding on to like every last penny that you have, or trying to save money, um, also Seven of Pentacles, you guys have definitely over invested um, into this person, but being be very secretive, like I'm telling you, um, over investment um then we have the uh princess of cups known as the page of cups in the reverse so immature um emotionally immature okay so whether it's you or this other person that very acting very immature okay so you could be involved with the gemini or there's actually no love um no harmony it's not that there's no love, it's just a, you kind of lost touch. Um, maybe you guys aren't doing things that you used to, or you got too busy, or just, I don't know, you're losing that connection, okay? So, Ace of Pentacles in the center of your spread, okay? Some of you are going through a financial loss, Some somebody took money from you, um, okay? The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody definitely lost money or you've been losing money or you lost a job. But you know what? It's going to be okay. Some of you are going to be getting a new job. Some of you guys started a new job. Some of you guys found a way to make money, okay? Now, potential future, we have the Tower card. So, disaster. Some type of disaster, some type of chaos. We have the Six of Wands. So, instead of celebrating and hip hip hooray, I feel like, it's like one thing after the other and it's just stressing it's it's um it's not time to celebrate okay in other words we have the strength card all in all it's you still hold your ground you still have that strength okay you're not letting this affect you or get to you um but yeah okay let's get some clarification for these cards Okay. 
Okay, so either somebody on the down low is being like jealous and the other person is showing no affection. Here comes my daughter to cry. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be right there, Ivy. Hold on. Okay, so some type of moodiness and... Uh, I mean, you're keeping thing, your feelings to each other. Okay. Also, let me see. Seven of Pentacles. Why is it Seven of Pentacles? death card in the reverse yeah you're feeling stuck you or the other person you're not really you know making a move or deciding whether it's over or not it's just kind of like oh well I put a lot of time and effort into this person but now it's like I don't know where we're going from here why is the princess of cups in the reverse okay yeah you can't get over something from the past okay so either Somebody from the way, way past is affecting you now. In other words, like if this person has cheated on you, played with you, so now it's like you're afraid to give in 100% because you're afraid of that feeling again or somebody, you know, to do that to you again. Or the same person that you're dealing with has did some harm to you and you're afraid that they're going to do it again. Why is the lover's card in reverse? Huh? Okay, I'm going. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, I'll be right back because my kids are wanting my attention. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry about that. <sighs> lover's card. Okay. Why is the lover's card in reverse? High Priestess. Okay. Yeah, you guys definitely know whether you know you're in tune with yourself and it's like, you know what? Yeah, we don't mesh together. And yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Either we need, you know, some type of, you know, therapy or we just need to end it. Okay? One or the other. As I see principles in reverse. So, so far for the earth signs, um, some type of like major breakup, divorce, just finally saying enough is enough, okay? Why is the ace of pentacles in the reverse? Some, there was definitely some, somebody was lying, somebody has been a little hesitant to speak up, um, okay, yeah, definitely, somebody lied, somebody's lying to you, okay, somebody, um, I wouldn't say court involved. Maybe for a few of you are taking some to the court, some people to the court, the other person that you were involved with, okay? Uh, just maybe a, like two of you. Um, then we have the Hierophant. Okay, so... There was, there was some type of commitment. Okay, it's like now you're wanting something better. Now you're wanting that commitment with somebody, okay? So, whether you're coming to realize, okay, yeah, for some of you, you're, you're with this person. In the past, you've had issues. Now, for some of you, you're going to make it work. You're going to find ways to make it work. Whether you guys do, do things together fun things together, things that you've never done to make things better, 
Okay. And I see for some of you, marriage. Marriage. Okay, when she hits the fan, I feel like you're weak. The other person's weak. Why is the six of wands in the reverse? Okay, that's too many cards, but if they come out again, let me actually just skim through. Yeah, there was some type of pain, uh, issues, disagreements. I feel like at some point you were, um, you knew where you were headed to or what you wanted, but what came along the way was kind of unexpected. Again, you know, pain, uh, heartbreak. Yeah, somebody definitely made you feel like you were out in the cold. I'm going to leave that there. Why is the strength card? Okay. One more card. Why is the strength card? Okay, one more card for strength. Dissatisfaction. Feeling like you didn't accomplish... But, I mean, the strength card, I mean, you have the strength. Heartbreak. Okay, aggressive. Like, you were upset. You were upset that this issue came up. Again, somebody took your money. Somebody lied to you. But when things were good, things were good, right? Why is the star card here? There was even some uh, cheating. I see third party here. Okay. Yeah, you're hoping for a new direction. Okay. There's also, you're not really 100% sure where it's going to take you now, where you're headed towards. Okay. Let's see what messages angels have for you. What messages do you have for Virgo August 14 to August 26, 2017? Angel Mike, what messages do you have? There it is. Moon cycles. Archangel Anel, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Okay. One more message. Okay, we got two more. Life review. Archangel Hermit. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Archangel Rael. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance okay i appreciate everybody who has come to this video i know it was a little short and quick you know i want to do some more uh, different types of readings for you guys okay um i hope you guys enjoy this video once again thank you thank you thank you so much i gotta go take care like i always say i wish nothing but the best for every single one of you